Ducks TV. I'm with Abgot. Hi there. How are you doing? And uh, you're playing tonight, is it? Yes, we're playing on 10.30 on stage number two. Looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm here for that reason, obviously. So I want to go on there and burn it. Have you uh, played this, this festival before? No, it's the first time. We actually we have to say thank to Alex Miles, the chief editor of Mel Hammer, because he listed us in the wish list. So we didn't really know if we would have made it or not. And all of a sudden, we received a phone call from me and the front team. Say, yeah, you've been listening, so you're playing on the Hammer Fest this year. I'm like, oh, yeah, go ahead, we we'll take it. You enjoyed the festival? Yes, uh, we, we took a little bit of a different direction from August. As you remember, we were the blast something, and we decided to go a bit more for festivals. We enjoyed more the crowd, there is a better organization. Obviously, we're going to go on tour and do single shows here and there as well, but it's a different experience. So we wanted to have under our belt the fact that, you know, festivals are a bit more stressed for a certain reason, but at the same time, they have a lot of energy, and if you manage to control, it is amazing. Well, you get more chance of uh, getting other people to listen to you as well at festivals, don't you? The people that wouldn't, wouldn't normally listen to you. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's also another reason, but mainly is that we enjoy it. I, I love it. I just love it. And what can people expect from you tonight? Well, more songs, because we have an hour long set. Uh, obviously, we like to have a tradition of having a cover in our music, so we will have also a cover. Um, Okay, we're gonna go a little bit groovy tonight. Instead of being straightforward, machine guns, we're gonna step back a little bit and uh, let's see how the crowd reacts. A little bit more, you know, a bit more rhythmical. Let's see if he, if they like it. So you're promoting a new album at the moment? Yes, it's a Godfather in Black, which came out a couple of weeks after, three weeks after we did Bloodstock. It's going down really well, to be honest. And um, it's a new concept. It's based on Mafia, Godfather. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, there is always a lot to say about this one. I think we spoke about it already in the Blossom, but again, there is a lot of speaking about Mafia all the time. And we say, you know what, let's put the concept together. Let's put lyrics and songs that are different by each other, but they have a guideline. If you read through it, you'll find it. So that's the Godfather in Black. It's a bit conceptual. Yeah, yeah it's the point of view who, who is the Mafia and does it onto somebody else. Not the victim, but more the assassinator. Not worried about waking up next to a horse's head then? <laughs> well, you know, there are those that speak about things and those that cannot speak about things. <laughs> Kabish. Yeah, Kabish. <laughs> And what, where's, where's next from after here? Um, okay, next, straight after, we got the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th down in Italy. So, like a really, really North Italian mini tour. Then we got the 2nd of May, uh, Death Fest in Leeds. The 15th of May, Black Night Day in uh, London. It's only UK black metal bands. The, the 3rd of July, we got the uh, Grindhouse Terror Rise in uh, Wakefield. There is something else, okay. Um, the first? No, that's the first. Uh, first. Oh, yeah, the American things. Yeah. We, we're releasing the albums now on the license with Blood Eagle in America, which is a really good news because they're going to spread it over there. It's the guy from Evil Incarnate. We're planning to do a tour that goes from the East Coast down to Mexico. And the album is coming out also in Spain as a picture disc and vinyl, so they are arranging a few gigs over there too. So, yeah, we, we're going to spread it around a little bit. To be honest. Are you going to get a chance to relax this weekend, or you've got to, is it a flying visit? It's a, it's a sort of flying visit. We, obviously, we're based in London, but tomorrow we have to leave early. We got commitments down in the city. Um, Edit with Six Sound, the magazine, the new magazine is out, and I'm teaching as well. Sunday I'm teaching again, so yeah, I'm going to be pretty busy. Are you looking forward to the rest of the year then, with, as, as regards Abcock? Yeah, there will be a lot going on, so we'll try to make the best out of it, to be honest with you. Um, we don't care about the money, honestly. There is no money in black metal anyway we don't care if you know we became big or small it doesn't really bother us that what bothers us is we want to play as long as we can play and do the thing we live for and we love most we're happy that's what we want to play. so yeah the more we do this year the better we're gonna make you an offer that you can't refuse Kabish. <laughs> That's really real. <laughs> 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 <laughs>